what is up? Welcome back to another Vlogmas vlog. We are getting another late start. This is normally where I sit when I'm getting a late start to a vlog. It is currently 535 and I've literally been sitting here in the corner of my couch pretty much all day. You guys saw this morning that we had some pancakes, which was amazing. Francis made us pancakes. Um, we also got like some fresh fruit and stuff to put on them, which we don't normally do. So it was really, really nice. But right after that, I have just been sitting here. I've been doing some admin work for the planners. I had to actually switch up a few things on the like planner shipments. Um, I just like made a mistake yesterday when we were packaging them. So needed to sit down and switch all those, which took quite a bit of time, which is unfortunate but we're learning as we go. And then also I edited and just uploaded the vlog that is before this one. So if you haven't gone and seen it, it is actually a very exciting vlog. It's a pretty long vlog as well. I'm pretty sure it ended up being like a half an hour long, which was the longest of all of these vlogmases so far. But it was the vlog where we went and picked up the planners, we unpackaged them, we started processing orders. It was just such a fun vlog. There was one clip that I couldn't get, it like got corrupted and stuff, and it was the one with my mom and us like talking and stuff, and it just made me sad. So I really want to show you guys more of my parents um, a little bit later in Vlogmas when we go and see them for Christmas. Um, because I know that you guys love my parents so much, and I was just sad that like, the one one clip that my mom was talking and we were chatting, it got corrupted, which was so stupid. So anyways, enough with that. It is now time for dinner. So I'm gonna go have some leftover fried chicken from Mary Brown's and then I am probably just going to work for the rest of the night. I really wanna get all of the orders um, processed tonight so that tomorrow I can just do last minute touches. Um, I need to make a few more of the sticker bundles for the launch week thing um launch week deal i guess um just to put in with all the orders so yeah i don't really know what this vlog is going to be i feel like i don't want to show you guys like more of like me packaging and stuff because that was like pretty much the entire vlog um yesterday and the day before so maybe i'll post on my instagram to do like a little q a and we can do a q a portion of the vlog um and then that'll pretty much be it. Hopefully that'll be enough. I'm really sad because I feel like I haven't done a ton of like super Christmassy things this Vlogmas. It's just like seemed a little bit different. I've definitely been more busy with work this Vlogmas than I've been in the past. Normally I would have gotten like all of the Black Friday orders out like first two weeks of December, possibly first three weeks. Um, and I would be finished, but because of slight delays and me having to deal with the planner stuff, I feel like I'm a little bit behind on orders and stuff like that. So yeah, it's just been a little bit hectic around here. Um, when I was sitting here before, I was getting a little bit overwhelmed in my head and almost had a slight panic attack, but we're good now. All I need to do is finish up these planner orders and then finish up the Cyber Monday Sunday, Small Business Saturday, those three days orders, which like I told you guys, there wasn't a ton. So we'll finish those up on like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Christmas Eve, um, Christmas Day, and then that weekend I can just have off to breathe. And then I may be possibly going to take off a little bit of time from stuff. I don't know. I kind of want to just breathe, maybe close the shop for a few weeks and just like regroup, maybe just not upload anything on YouTube, maybe take like a social media break a little bit. I don't know, just recently, I don't want to cry. Don't cry. Anna. Recently, I've just been feeling a little bit overwhelmed and I just, I think I need to take a few weeks to breathe. So don't freaking I always do this. Anyways, I am done crying. Um, I did not mean for that to happen whatsoever, but hello, welcome to the vlog. I guess we're getting a little emotional today and I'm going to go have some dinner and then we are going to finish up these planner orders, which I'm so excited to finally get them out. Like honestly, like me, like sitting here and crying about being overwhelmed and stuff, like yes, it sucks. But at the same time, like I am so freaking happy that I'm getting these planner orders out and finally like just thinking about shipping them out and you guys receiving them and stuff that even makes me want to cry and not for the same reasons that I was crying before which is weird but like whoa I just realized that I've cried for 
being overwhelmed and happy in the last five minutes. Weird, but anyways, I'm just, maybe I'm just overwhelmed in general with like emotion, you know? But anyways, I'm gonna stop yapping and we are going to get into this vlog, which honestly, it's probably gonna be a lot of talking, so I apologize. But those of you who actually enjoy me as a person and just like my life and chatting and stuff will enjoy this, so anyways, yeah, let's, let's get into it. I think I've said let's get into it like 15 times, but I am getting very hungry. I want chicken, so let's eat some food. <laughs> Okay friends, so I am officially live streaming. This is what the mess of a table is that I have most of the time. But Miss Carrie, the amazing Carrie, redeemed for me to vlog. So say hello to the vlog, everybody. Lara, Amanda, Jordan, Fior, Brandy, Britt, Heather, Jay, Wefty. We fly wefty. <laughs> That's what I said before, wasn't it? Oh goodness. Coralie, we love you, Jenna. Don't make me cry on the vlog, guys. Okay? Don't do that to me. <laughs> ho, 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 Brit. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm so, I'm so sorry we fly together. Their names, we fly together, but I don't know how to read English, so I thought it was Wefty. So I always called them Wefty, but this is me. Hello. Oh, you can see my camera. <laughs> this is weird. Okay. Well, that's, that's everything, my friends. We're going to get back to planning. Whoop, whoop. what is up welcome back it is now the next day of this vlog it is Sunday you guys saw in the earlier clips that I have had breakfast my coffee we did a plan with me live stream over on my twitch which the planner spread ended up turning out so cute it was a Christmas spread but I didn't use a kit I just use a bunch of Christmassy icons from a shop called Papershire which is one of my favorites and it just turned out adorable and I love it. But yeah, we are now down in the office. We are again working on planner orders. I did this all yesterday and that's why I didn't really get any clips yesterday. I was down here pretty much all day, but I have all of the finished orders behind me. Like it's it's getting a little snug in here. We got we got boxes upon boxes upon piles of planners and I'm just like so freaking thankful standing in this office right now it's just makes me so incredibly happy and there's not much left to do i think i just have to print and cut this little pile over here of stickers for orders that had planners as well as a few sticker sheets that i didn't get to printing before so we're finishing those up i have some there that i need to switch out um, i am finishing up putting all of the little sticker bundles together we just got to put those in a lot of these orders close them up print the shipping labels, which I am going to assume now is going to take me a little bit longer than I'm thinking because there's like a ton of orders and I have to print them all and then like 
see what like all the orders currently right now have little post-it notes on them so I have to go through and I think I might organize them by first name so that it's a little bit easier to find the mailer and then put the shipping label on um, so yes that is what we're gonna do later tonight once I'm finished these bundles and these stickers and then we should be good um, yeah I, I don't know what else I'm going to really do. Um, I think for this vlog, I'm going to do a little bit of a Q&A, so that'll be a little bit later tonight. But honestly, like I said before, this video is going to be a lot of me chatting, so I apologize. But I'm going to get back to making these sticker bundles, and I will see you guys a little bit later. in the corner oh my goodness <laughs> hey friends what hey is... friends okay. seriously yeah. <laughs> okay so it is now very late it is midnight actually and we need to get to bed soon but like I told you guys I wanted to make this video a little Q&A someone has joined me which I didn't know he was going to but that's great. So I asked you guys on my Instagram, you, which is you, at Jenna Rose Beasley. Hmm? You asked me to join you. Well, you were here. Oh, okay. But, like, I wasn't, like, initially thinking, oh, Francis oh, okay, is going to be yeah. here with me. Which is totally fine. I like you being here with me. And also, oh, God, what are you doing to the dog? <laughs> I'm loving her. <laughs> I'm loving her. Okay. Anyways, um, so many people asked questions, and we are going to try to get through majority of them and try to quickly go through them. So, the first question is from Madison Mills, and she asked, top 10 board games for couples. Oh my god, top 10? 10. That's a lot. Okay, let's go back and forth. Let's scream out some ones that we enjoy playing together. I enjoy playing... I don't know. The like, Mind. Oh yeah, we did enjoy The Mind. I, it, it'll be hard to rank them right now. I wish I'm not going to do like a top 10, just like a 10. List yeah. of 10. This is Some... not in any order. The Mind. I enjoyed playing Viticulture with you. Mm -hmm. Taverns. Um, as yeah, well. Taverns. Um, uh, even Everdell. Takedo. Takedo was the one that like initially yeah. started our love for board games. So that one's a good one. Everdell, like you said. Um, have we played Wingspan together? Just the two yeah. of us? Yeah. That's a good one. Honestly, like, all of our favorite ones are ones that we play with other people, but they're still enjoyable as two players. And it all depends on what kind of board games you want. Because if you just want easy ones, then we're definitely not <laughs> the people to ask because we normally like more, you know, challenging, think thinking kind of games. How, so How many are we at now? That's six. Uh, Santorini. Four more. Santorini is actually a very fun two-player game. Not super challenging, and it's good for kids as well, so if you are playing with kids. Um, I would say Seven Wonders Duel. We've actually never played it before. Yeah. We enjoy Seven Wonders, but they have a variant that is specifically for two players, so we do really want to... I really want to get that one. I liked playing Sunset Over Water. Mm -hmm. I personally did. Um, that one's a pretty simple one. Are you looking through our yeah. board games? We have the Board Game Geek app where you can, like, specifically put, like, what board games you have and stuff like that. Pandemic is really fun. Oh, That's Pandemic, yes. Pandemic is a cooperative game, so you, like, work together, and it, it's super fun. So, that's the first one. Definitely, probably, the Will longest one. Yeah, that was 10. Okay. Next question is, what are you most proud about accomplishing in 2020? And that is obviously releasing a freaking planner, which was crazy. At the beginning of 2020, that was like my main goal. It's actually in my like goal setting planner. One of my main goals was to 
to release the planning roses planner and I did it and I'm so freaking happy about it so definitely that um that was from my life worth living which hello girl I always see you commenting thank you for supporting um typically Tiffany asks what's your favorite Nespresso flavor mine is personally the caramel cookie or hazelnut muffin what's yours Melozio Melozio yeah, Melozio is really is good really yeah it's just like a typical coffee there's not mm -hmm. any sort of like flavoring to it but it's a good solid coffee to like add flavoring to I guess mm -hmm. next up is another one from my life worth living she said what did you want to accomplish but weren't able to oh snap um I did want to release like merch Penny's scratching to go out yeah. so um, I did want to release like merch or apparel in the Planning Roses shop for like both Planning Roses as well as my YouTube channel, but I didn't end up being able to do that. So it's kind of a bummer. It kind of just got pushed on the book back. What am I saying? Pushed on the back burner um, because of COVID and then just releasing a planner as well. It just seemed like a lot at one time so I am going to work on that in 2021 next is you can only listen to three artists for the rest of your life who do you pick oh snap Billie Eilish honestly right now Taylor Swift because I'm feeling both of her sister albums Folklore and Evermore um, and then Bon Iver I, I call him Bon Iver, but I'm pretty sure it's Bon Iver or Bon Iver, one of the three. But I just find his music very calming, so probably those three at the moment, but if you ask me in like a month, they might be completely different. Um, that was from Carrie, by the way. Um, love you, girl. Uh, Carrie also asked, what are your fave kinds of videos to watch on TikTok? Being a dancer, I do really love watching the dance ones. Not typically the like younger girls shaking their booties and stuff like that. I'm just not into that. But I really love the people that dance that are good at dancing that are like just so talented. I love watching them. Like Charlize Glass is so good at dancing. Casey Rice, just all of like the girls that are like so good at hip hop. I just, I love watching them on TikTok. And then also just like the home decor, home improvement, as well as like Amazon finds and like fun little things like that. Like things you need for your home. All of those. Love those. Um, next up is from Anime Designs. And she said, did you hit any launch goals um, or did you hit any goals with your launch? So happy for you. Thank you so much. And honestly, I didn't have like huge, huge goals for this because it was my first launch. I honestly just wanted to release it, see how it went. I didn't have any kind of preconceived kind of things. So my, I think one thing that like is really cool that I guess is kind of a goal is that some of the colors did sell out, which is super, super exciting. So the black spiral planner did sell out as well as the pink spiral planner sold out as well, which is just like crazy that like all of those sold. That makes me so incredibly happy. So next up is what's a language you would love to be fluent in art or are you fluent in anything other than English? I am not fluent in anything other than English not even close like Francis and I tried to learn some Spanish that did not work um, I learned a little bit of French in school because I'm Canadian but that did not stick at all um, but that's pretty much it I would love to be able to speak Spanish or Tagalog I, I can barely speak Tagalog <laughs> I know but you, would you, you're not fluent in it. You used to be? Maybe as a kid. I don't as a kid. recall. No, you don't remember. So yes, that is that. Next is from Maggie Plans, and she asks, will you do Plan With Me's on your planner channel with your new planners? I know you're busy. So when you say my planner channel, I don't know if you mean the Planning Roses YouTube channel because that is no longer, Penny is licking the pillow that you guys are sitting on right now. That's probably why it was moving slightly. Hi. And I was just staring at you. You are so freaking cute in your little sweater. 
Um, but if you're talking about the Planting Roses YouTube channel, I actually, I think I deleted the Planting Roses YouTube channel. I just started doing a little bit more of the planner content here on my... Oh! Ah! <laughs> Look, good match. Yes, we match. She just like sent the freaking camera flying. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I deleted the Planning Roses channel because I started doing planner stuff on here and this Jenna Rose channel is where I will be posting more planner stuff for sure in 2021. I really want to showcase my planner and show you guys how I plan in it and I'm just like way too excited to plan it that I just, I want to show you guys. So yes, I will definitely be doing more planner stuff here on this channel but the planner channel that I used to have is no longer. And lastly, this question is kind of fitting because we just learned something new about the COVID restrictions in our area, which is a little bit of a bummer, but it is, what are the COVID restrictions like where you live? And unfortunately, today we did get the news that Southern Canada and Northern Canada? Yeah, all, no, Ontario. All, Ontario, all, yeah. Ontario, sorry. Southern Ontario and Northern Ontario are going into lockdown on Christmas Eve. So we can no longer really do anything with family. Um, you can do things like outside. So we have considered doing that with my family. Um, we're also considering doing like a FaceTime thing. I don't really know what's going on right now. Anyways, that is going to be everything for this vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, Give it a big thumbs up. Okay, so I almost forgot to pick the random question of the video, but let's do this before my camera overheats because it's yelling at me. But the random question is from Victoria or Vittoria? Karen, and she asks, what's the difference between the PR planner and the classic planner? Does it have a PR feature or something? Asking because I'm interested. So I think you got mistaken because the PR planner is called the PR planner because my brand is Planning Roses. So whenever I say PR, it doesn't mean like promotional. I think that's what you're asking here. Um, there's just the PR planner, the Planning Roses planner. I just switch up between calling it either the PR planner or the Planning Roses planner. They're all the same planner. They all have the same inside pages. It's just the outside that changes. Um, you can either get it in the notebook style or the spiral style, and then there are the five colors available, which, like I mentioned, the pink and the black of the spiral have sold out, but the other three, you good? You good, Miss Penny? <laughs> the other three are still available in the spiral, and then all of the colors of the notebooks are still available. So, anyways, that is everything, and now we can end the video. This clip has been 21 minutes so far, so let's hope that I can edit it down to be shorter um, and hopefully this vlog isn't too long but hopefully you guys enjoyed this little Q&A at the end here um, if you did give it a big thumbs up comment down below any questions you guys have for me to answer in the next vlog subscribe if you have yet to do so hit the notification bell I love you guys so freaking much tomorrow's an exciting day because we are shipping out the planners thank you guys so much for watching I love you so much remember you are somebody's reason to smile and I will see you in the next vlog Bye guys!